What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video with Lords Mobile. I am on my way to do some monster hunting and so this is something I'm pretty excited to talk about. I actually really enjoy hunting in this game and uh, there's some things that are going to help us a lot. So the first is research. So before you go out hunting, you do want as high as you can get in research. Uh, not before you go hunting, but just you want to get this leveled up if you want to be a, a quality hunter. And I still have a couple of things that I can work on now that I've recently leveled up my academy. And uh, right now I've got some other stuff going, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. But definitely something you want to level up over time. The first thing that it, uh, when it comes to monster hunting is your heroes, right? These are what go and do the hunting. I'm not particularly set up per se with my my heroes to do monster hunting because the best monster hunters um, are going to be Scarlet Bolt and um, Trickster and I don't see Tracker on here just yet. I guess I haven't got her, but she's right there. Tracker's one of them for sure. Um, and then your magic people, pretty much anybody magic. So she's going to be good, 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 good for anybody who says that they need magic. And um, your other hero, Demon Slayer, is going to be really good. Scarlet Bolt is also going to be really good wherever she went. Or not Scarlet Bolt. Oh, there she is going to be one of your one of your good hunters. Black Crow is going to be one of your good hunters. So it almost seems like I'm saying everybody at some point, but... You know, Night Raven doesn't do too much. Death Knight doesn't do too much with hunting. Oathkeeper and Rose Knight, you know, I don't, I just don't hunt a lot with these guys. But um, even C Squire, if, if I've got a magic party going and he happens to be one of the higher magic people, then I'll send him. But more commonly, Sage of Storms and Bob and Goblin and Snow Queen are going to be your better magic people. Prima Donna gets valuable when you're getting to a certain point where a monster's killing you. Like you're you're staying alive for a good chunk of time, and, and then the monster kills you. Prima Donna can come in there and help heal up the troops and keep them alive longer. And as a result, you do more damage to the monster. So, uh, you know the the heroes you'll kind of get used to, and I'll show you a tool here in this video that will help you decide, you know, which monsters to attack. Um, now out here we have some different monsters. I have an hour of twenty eight minutes to hunt whatever monsters I want to hunt, and Let's see if I have any level ones right near me. You have to do research in order to hunt each particular monster in that monster hunter tree. So this voodoo shaman, I'm going to sneak out there. And I'm just going to show you one attack. And I'm also going to just briefly uh, pause the video so I can show you a nice nifty little tool uh, that you can s consider getting for yourself. But I'll be right back with that set up. Okay, so here is something we call Line. It's the Line application, and you can download it. This is on Mac, and I believe you can get it on Android, and you can definitely get it on iOS. It's going to allow you to uh, basically have this heft bot that you can go and find and make your friend. You go up here into Friends, hit Plus, and search heft bot and then you can add your Hefbot as your friend and then you can invite them when you are in any of these you can invite them into and I know you can't see that there uh, but but bottom line you can invite them in using this button here into the chat and Hefbot is a robot type of thing uh, on this line application which is available on iOS and definitely on I'm using a iMac and I've got it downloaded on my MacBook I'm using an emulator for the phone and uh, you can I'm pretty sure you can download it on an, most Android devices as well but I'm not 100% positive on that one so but you can definitely get uh, discord if you can't get line and you can invite Hefbot through discord so long story short here what these are gonna do is it's going to uh, give you the monster. So if you look up a particular monster type, right now I'm hunting Voodoo Shaman. So what I'll do is I'll come down here and with Hefbot as part of my group, I can then say Voodoo Shaman. 
you got to spell it right and then that'll pop up and give me this voodoo shaman and it'll tell me at level one these are the free heroes that I would want to use against him and at level one this is the best team with paid heroes and free heroes alike and so level two if you're fighting a level two voodoo shaman here's the free ones here's the paid ones and so on and so forth so what I'll want to do is I'll just grab these guys and I'll say okay so like I told you, these are these are some, among those best heroes that I told you about as far as a specifically your pay to play. Um, you're going to want Demon Slayer, and I didn't mention Death Archer, but she is definitely one of those. She's a good one. Um, and then these guys are, are very often a pair. A pair. You've got uh, Tr Tracker and Trickster and then Black Crow. So this is a good army to go and attack this guy with. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put together as many of those as I can. I don't have Tracker, but I do have Trickster. And I do have Black Crow. I do have Death Archer. And I do have, oh gosh, who was the other one? Um, let's see. Did I put Demon Slayer? No, I didn't. But he's going to be a good one. And then since I don't have Tracker, um, I'm going to replace her with another... She is what's called a um, agility type with the wings. If you look at your heroes, there's the one with the wings, the fist, and the magic. They're, these guys are the ones with the wings. That one is wings, 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 and so is uh, Tracker. So this one here, Scarlet Bolt, also has wings. So those are the ones that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to deploy, and then it takes a minute. Let's see if I can speed this up a little bit for the video. Boom. Okay, 75%. I don't like to waste those like that, but I don't want to make you sit here and watch it forever either just to see what I want to talk about. So he's marching down there pretty quick, but watch when he walks back because it only works two, and then you got to use another 75% to speed it from. So that was 10%. Right now with my, my basic strength of those heroes and um, with the research, the monster research that I've done, I managed to get 10%, a little over 10% on my first hit. And if I go here, I can look at the Voodoo Shaman. This is what they dropped for me when I monster hunt. And it, I can pop down here and it'll say minus 10%. And this is the remainder of the monster that I fought. And you can even click this right here and it'll bring you to the spot where you hunt that monster. Now, if you watch this guy, he's walking back nice and slow. Where'd he go? He hid. He's hidden in here. So uh, he's super, super, super slow. And how can I improve the speed at which I walk? How can I improve the cost of what I'm doing? So if I go back out here actually real quick and I look at the cost of the energy. So when I'm, when I'm attacking, it'll tell me right here how much uh, it's going to cost me of my available energy. So right now I have 17,000 out of 20,000 maximum that I can hold, and I would need to use 2,759 of that energy in order to attack this guy. So how can I reduce the time it takes to travel there, the damage that I do to the monster, all that good stuff? Monster hunt tree. So energy recovery, how fast you're gonna get your energy back. So as you use this energy right here, okay, you have these items you can use, and you can use those to bring your energy back up. So if I use a thousand, boom, it's going to bring it back up here a thousand. And you can uh, you can say use and warning. It's going to give you a warning, and you can say okay, but you're going to use more than you can actually carry. So if I use that five thousand, I'll only go up to twenty thousand two hundred. I won't jump up beyond what I can't have. But um, otherwise, it just sits here and gains at a certain speed. And when you're doing the research, it'll increase that speed of recovery energy limit we just talked about that limit being 22 uh 22 two, i think it was or twenty thousand two hundred. i think uh whatever it was by increasing this i'll be able to get on my next round an additional 1300 and then an additional uh 1450 and then an additional or you know whatever it is whatever it is so you're going to increase the total maximum energy you can carry with that energy saver this is what reduces the cost so if uh, right now it was like 
2027, I think it was, to go and hunt that guy. Let's see. I'll go back out to him real quick. And it was 2759. So that research will actually reduce the cost of uh, from 27 down to whatever. And Energy Saver, you can see it reduces it by 8%, by 10%, and so on until it's maxed. Monst aggressive hunter so the hunt in a row limit this doesn't mean how many times you're allowed to hit the monster altogether at all what it actually means is there's a boost so there's two types of boosts this is a really good time to talk about this the first type type is a damage boost times six so if i hit the 10 percent and i use all six of these it would only do 60% damage, but I've already done one hunt in a row, so it's gonna add 14% damage the next time I hunt. If this was zero, it wouldn't add any boost up here because I haven't hunted him yet. The first time I hunt something, it's gonna give me another da damage boost on, on the second hunt, and then it'll give me a bigger damage boost on the third hunt. So how does that break down? Well, let's say I hit him my very first time. I don't have any damage boost, but I have a 2x here. So you can only use one hunt, which is for this much energy, or all of your energy at once. You can't choose. You can't say, okay, I want to do times two, times three, times four. But it, let's say I had, you know, 7,000 uh, 7, energy here, then I would only be able to do an, a damage boost times two. And let's say that was my first hunt. My first hunt, I did about 10% damage. So if I had a damage boost times two, then I would do 20% damage. But if instead I hunt once and then I hunt again, I'll get an additional 14% damage boost. So rather than just doing 20% damage, I would do something like, uh, let's find out. So my second hunt, if I speed this up again, let's try and shorten our time. Okay, I won't do it anymore. But he's cruising now. All right, so my first time, we can go here and see that I did uh, 10.24. And your heroes will level up when you do uh, monster hunting. Very cool. And then the second time I hit, instead of just doing... Well, I didn't get that much of much better on a second hit. And here's here's something that's really interesting about that is sometimes my first hit will be 10.24. Other times it'll be 11. Other times it might be 9. So it's kind of funny that your heroes just kind of hit differently on each battle. There's no consistency. You won't see it hit 10.24 if you send the exact same troops with the exact same strength and the exact same research and everything's the same, you're not going to get that number every single time. So that second that second attack was actually weaker a weaker attack. So maybe my first one was strong and my second was weak, or maybe my second was just weak and this was you know regular. Um, I I couldn't say for sure which one which way it is but there's again you're just there's no consistency when you attack um it, it's a small difference but it's just not going to be the exact same each time so next time i hunt a level one i might hit uh 11 points instead of just 10 on this base energy so that's kind of how damage boosts work so now i'm at 24.5 percent with my hunts in a row and I'm going to waste some more energy just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. and uh, Or waste some speed ups, I should say, and energy, kind of both. So I'm, kind of, I'm down to 13, and each time I hit, I can hit fewer and fewer as my max because I'm, I'm burning off energy, and I can only hit, use like all of my energy or just one bit of it. That's just how that works. So let's go back here and look. And we've got, this time I did 12%, 12.67. So I haven't changed my party. I haven't made my hero stronger yet, although one of them did level up, but that was on, you know, the first round or 
So, but in any case, this, this guy is going to go down faster the more times I hit him. Now that's what's called hunts in a row. And the reason I brought that up is because my maximum hunts in a row, and you can see this right here, is if you go down to your hunting abilities, hunt boost, my maximum hunts in a row is at 15. So I can only do 15 hunts in a row to boost that damage boost this uh this damage boost as soon as i hit 15 i'm no longer going to get any additional damage boost but i can keep on leveling up that monster tree and eventually i can get that up to uh 25 hunts in a row i think it is and um then see i can do one or i can do up to four because that's the maximum amount my energy will allow but in any case once I keep increasing the hunts in a row, my ability to do more and more hunts in a row, then that damage boost will keep going up, 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 up. And it's so much more valuable than using all of your energy at once. Because uh, if I use all my energy at once, I'm going to get that 35% times four. But if I keep using one at a time, one at a time, that that's going to keep going up. And as a result, I'm going to kill this monster even um, with less energy waste not as fast because if i do times four i'm doing four times the damage so i might drive down this number quicker but i'm also going to be out of energy fast so if i don't kill it then i'm just kind of wasting energy and um this little button here by the way will allow me to post to the guild if i say hey come attack this uh come attack this monster then uh you know I'll, I'll, I'll click this and I'll hit this and I'll post it and all of a sudden all the people will start coming to that monster But I don't want that quite yet. Uh, I don't care if they do attack, but I want to go on to the next piece of this video uh, or excuse me the next piece of research before the next piece of the video and The next piece of research is so that's the aggressive hunter hunts in a row plus six and then you can get it all the way up plus ten so I can go you know, it's at 15 now, so I could go 16, 17, 18, 19. I could get up to 19 hunts in a row. And there's other things that that will increase that. I think there's, yep, there's another aggressive hunter here. So you can continue to increase how many hunts in a row you're allowed. Animal handling. Monster hunt travel speed. How fast, when I press attack, how fast to go from my castle to the monster. Uh, monster hunter one, the damage boost is obvious uh, how much damage you're doing when you're hitting the monster hunt max hp so your heroes have a certain amount of health and the maximum amount of health will go up based on how much you increase this which should be self-explanatory hit me up in the comments if you don't think so let me know and then uh the healing effect as i've mentioned before during certain periods right your hero will attack attack and maybe attack and then heal themselves so their health will jump back up and hunter recovery increases the effect so as i go up i'll heal better and better and better on my healing round of attacking the monster and that's going to help me survive longer it's going to make sure that i don't have to use prima donna to keep my guys alive all that good stuff so Monster Hunter, Damage Boost, we've already talked about that. Max HP, we've already talked about. Healing Effect, same thing. MP Advantage. So this one is, you're going to start out with a certain amount of, uh, of uh, special. So you, when, you're, when you're hunting, if I view this battle, right, we have these specials down here. And right now it's nothing, but as I take hits and as I deliver hits, it builds up those specials. And when I get to the top, it's automatically going to use one of those specials on him. So right here, boom, he uses, or they both used a special and here's his special. And then it goes back down to zero. So if I'm at my research, and i am at mp advantage when when i increase that i'm gonna get how much i get to start with 20 50 90 650 and it'll go all the way up and it'll start me off with better and better and better magic so that i hit them sooner with those specials and cause more damage to the monster and thus 
killing them quicker or causing more damage overall in the total amount of time that I have to battle. And when you watch those battles, by the way, you're going to either see one of two things. One, time will run out before you can kill them, or two, they're going to kill all your guys and the battle will be over and you'll only have caused what damage you did before your heroes died. Or three, I guess, secret option three is you see the monster die. So uh, we've got damage boost here with Monster Hunter 3, energy recovery, energy saver. We've talked about that. Energy limit um, increases the, the max energy allowance. And then Monster Hunt 5. So that's that whole tree. Now, that tree is super, super nice. If you're going to be a hunter, you want to improve it. But... What's going to improve it more, and I've told you that I bought this package before, I just haven't used it yet. This, Slayer Chest. When I made the purchase of my Monster Slayer package, I got a bunch of Slayer Chests. I also got these uh, a few of each of these items when I did. But man, that this is what I want. This right here will make me a better hunter than anybody, and the only way that you can purchase them is to buy special bundles from the mall. Now, you'll go through something called Guild Fest, and they do have these Slayer Chests among their items, and when you get them, you definitely want to purchase them. Now, when I go in here, and I'm looking at my gear, that's cool, I can build those up, but what I want to show you is my event equipment, my hunter set. That's what I'm really looking at building up. So now I can go to, to one, or to white here and I can build up anything um, now that I've opened those up those chests and not only that but I can do these jewel fusions which are going to be very helpful I'm going to get as many as I can going as high as I can and I won't use them unless they're purple or gold and gold takes a little while so I will use them at purple and that's going to help me a bunch so max energy is going to go up 500 points uh, right away just by attaching this to something and then mo but you got to have something to attach it to and you don't want to attach it to any random piece of equipment you want to only attach hunter jewels to hunter equipment and that's going to become clear which is which uh, but your travel speed will go up and your max energy will go up and so you'll see swift hunter swift hunter swift hunter those are awesome awesome jewels by the way anytime you have a number four on one of these it means they can be improved to the next level you can also split them and take them back down divide them you know and for every one that you divide you get four of the previous one uh, that that's something you can evaluate on your own and decide oh yeah do I want one really strong one or do I want four attached to a bunch of different equipment that equate to more than the one strong one I always go for the one strong one in hopes that I'm going to have eventually all strong ones. So I try and let those build up to that point. But that's going to be your call. For now, I'm going back into the hunter set. And these are your hunting items. One of each thing. You're going to have. Uh, you're going to be able to have three of these accessories because eventually I'm going to unlock every slot. And uh, you're going to have one hunting mace that you can't wear until level 50. A hunting plate, again level 50. Hunting greaves, 55. 60 60 45 i can wear right now because i am above level 45 and i am going to build that first now in reality if let's say i'm level 60 by the time i decide to buy hunter stuff then in that case i'm i'm probably going to want to start out with the earth shatterer that thing's the hardest thing to build and it, it does some serious damage but i would mainly look at the the monster hunter boost or the damage boost rather um, I would look at hunt damage boost, damage boost, and so on, all the way up. This is going to give me a hunt damage boost. It's pretty min minimal, but I still like it. So I'm going to forge this. And since it's the only thing I have, and I only have one slot, I'm going to get it as high as I can. So now I have one of those, and I, I can keep going. I can improve it, and I'm going to speed that up, and improve it, and speed that up. And let's see if I can do it one more time. So I'm going to fuse all these, fuse all these, keep going. Do I have enough? Yep, I do. I do. Boom. So now I've got this to level four or to level purple. And then I can't go to gold because I don't have enough materials to get that gold. But 
Now I'm going to come out of here and I'm going to go into the cabinet and into these jewels and oh no excuse me I'm going to go into the cabinet and go into equipment find that thing that I just did and I'm going to inlay a swift hunter jewel boom so now I've got one purple hunting horn with one purple swift hunter jewel and now when I go out of here and I go to that voodoo shaman and I hunt just use the same heroes and same everything else I'm gonna go a little bit quicker I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell straight off the cuff um, it's still over a minute and let's see what kind of damage difference it ends up being so last time I did it I hit 12.67 and I'm obviously gonna get an additional boost but let's see if it does anything significant oh look at that I did less and, it, and we just talked about why that is so that was a weak hit that was a very weak hit if I go back and do it again it'll hit stronger and I should be speeding up oh you know what <laughs> I don't have it equipped that's why so <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking to myself like why did that but still to that point got to equip it in order for it to work um, to that point that just goes to show even if you have that damage multiplier uh, sometimes your your heroes just hit weaker than other times and Sometimes they hit stronger than other times, and it's never very consistent. So let me go here now that I've actually attached the equipment that I want to use. Hunting Voodoo Shaman. I did less damage here, 10.86, than I did here with 12.67. Let's see where we land with these added features. And, and it was a little over a minute to walk there. So let's see if this improves. All right, so less than a minute now. And let's go ahead and speed this up. I'm not gonna waste that last 75% because who knows when I need that. But I'll use two 50% ones. And then let's see if we can do a little bit more damage. And if you get the chance to, anytime you see an exclamation on these guys, level them up. So I hit the Voodoo Shaman already before I leveled it up, which is good because then we can see the difference. But if you level these guys up, that you're walking with and you can tell who you're walking with by these little horse guys those are guys that that shows who's out and we can promote and equip and when we do that now next time we will definitely hit harder with those heroes heroes really help everything all right so we got to 13.31 and we walked a little bit quicker and that was just with one single uh item and with one single horn we are able to do that if we had the helmet if we had the main hand the off hand a couple more of those plus the armor plus the the feet or legs i should call it uh, all of a sudden your guy is bolting back and forth back and forth and that will be my goal uh that that's that's essentially it guys if you guys have any questions hit me up in those comments and i will catch you on the next one See ya.